Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Life and Happiness Podcast, the show that takes you on a journey of exploration. We'll discuss tried and true methods alongside the latest trends of how to best live your life to its fullest and happiest. From psychology to meditation, science to self-help books, the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast will help you to discover what makes you happy and how you can live life being the best you possible. Welcome to GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. How's it going today? I hope you slept well. I hope the sun is shining. I hope things are going well for you. I hope your coffee was as dark as you want it, or <laughs> I hope you didn't get stuck in, stuck in traffic. I just hope you're having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. It's always the best part of my day to do one of these episodes. I absolutely love doing these episodes. All right, let's jump right into it. I thought today I would talk about investing in yourself and keeping promises to yourself. You know, we put so much time, money, effort into other things you know we invest in so many different aspects um, of our lives and a lot of the time we forget to invest in ourselves we forget to hold ourselves accountable we forget to keep those promises you know that we've said we were going to keep and we just don't you know and it's like how are we supposed to achieve you know everything that we want you know go after these amazing goals when you don't put the time into investing in yourself You know, if you want to invest in other things, if you want a business or, you know, you want to be an influencer or you want this big promotion or you want to move somewhere, I don't know, you know, you're going to put time in, you're going to put effort in, you're going to put money into, to those things. And it's like, why don't we invest in ourselves? And like I probably say in every single episode, it all starts with you, you know, creating your fulfilled happy life it it starts with you and why the hell shouldn't we invest in ourselves and you know take care of our, take care of ourselves properly and i think like investing in yourself kind of has different there's so many different ways that you can invest in yourself you know of course it's like self care like taking care of yourself you know your education um things like that right that are kind of obvious that we kind of invest in ourselves or maybe we don't invest in ourselves in those areas but i just want to talk to you today you know about things different ways that we can invest in ourselves simple simple things and just how it's going to better our life like i just think we all have a lot of you know goals and and dreams and we all want this like great life we want to you know we want to be the ceo we want to you know be the movie star we want to do all these big things or maybe it's not big like that maybe you just you know it doesn't matter whatever kind of goal it is to you it's big for you and that's what's most important and it's like we put so much time into like achieving our goals and going after the things that we want that sometimes we forget that like we're never actually really going to achieve that or achieve it with full happiness unless we take the time to invest in ourselves, love who we are, um, take care of our bodies, take care of our minds, take care of our souls, take care of all those things. Um, And once we do invest in ourselves and we take care of ourselves properly, we hold ourselves accountable, we keep promises to ourselves, you know, we're going to find that going after those goals seems, you know, more realistic as well. You know, it's just you're going to feel better about it. You're going to feel better about yourself. Keeping a promise to yourself is huge. And, you know, honestly, recently it's something that I've really thought about because I was talking to a friend and, you know, we were talking about keeping promises and think about it. Like, I think I've mentioned this in an episode as well. Like, you would never 
like you would feel bad letting down a friend if you promised that you were going to see them on Saturday night and go for drinks or go for dinner or whatever um and you you wouldn't let them down because that's your friend you wouldn't like you wouldn't break that promise so why would you break a promise to yourself as well um and I think we really need to hold ourselves accountable. You know, we, we tend to brush things off. It's like, oh, I'll just, I'll just try again tomorrow. I'll just, like, do it next week. I'll just, like, you know. If you promise yourself you're going to the gym tonight, make that promise and commit. You wouldn't cancel on a friend. Why would you cancel on yourself? Like, that's part of investing in yourself is actually holding yourself accountable to the things that you want, the things that you know you need to do, and doing them and making sure you're doing them and not making up excuses. Um... So yeah, I think we should just talk about investing in ourselves, keeping those promises, all the things that we can do. Uh, Self-care, of course, you know, taking care of our bodies, taking care of our minds. Um, I think though what we really need to focus on um, when it comes to investing in ourselves is the things that we absorb. Okay, what are we listening to? What are we watching? And of course, it's like the easy, like, what are we consuming? Like, what are we eating? What are we putting into our bodies? But I don't think it's just the consumption that we need. Well, it's consumption of all different things, not just like food and and water and stuff like that and, and vitamins, nutrients. I mean, like, the books that we read, the television shows we watch, the movies we watch, the music we listen to, the podcasts we listen to. You know, what are the things that you absorb on the daily? Your surroundings, who are you hanging out with? You know, you, I, you really can only be as good as the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Are you surrounding yourself with people that are constantly nagging, constantly being negative, constantly have drama? Like, that's not good. You're absorbing that constantly through you. Like, you don't even realize this, how that hits you. Um, you're like, oh, yeah, I just ignore them. It's fine. They're just my friends. No, you're actually absorbing them. You're listening to them, you know, gossip and chatter or be negative all the time. It's going to affect you. And I think the biggest thing in investing in ourselves is being really aware and conscious of the things that we are absorbing. You know, are you watching movies with a bunch of, you know, fighting and drama? Are you listening to draining negative music? Are you, you know... Are you doing things that are going to better you? And don't get me wrong. I love a good, like, action movie or a rom-com. I like all those cheat. Like, that's so much fun to watch, like, a cheesy TV show. Or for me, I'm a sucker for, like, Friends. I think I've watched the entire seasons of Friends, like, over ten times. Like, and that's something, like, I just enjoy doing. And I'm not saying don't enjoy, like, don't stop listening to the music you like. Don't stop watching those, you know, cheesy, funny movies. Don't stop watching the action movies. But, like, be conscious of the things that you're absorbing absorbing and how much you're absorbing um you know and I think you'll actually really start to realize what you cut out of your life um it's just we have to be conscious of everything that's coming into our bodies and we you know all automatically when I say like you know what are we absorbing what are we consuming <coughs> sorry it's like you know, we think food, we think water, like, am I drinking too much? Am I, like, alcohol, right? Like, am I consuming too much? Am I eating fatty foods? Am I eating junk food? You know, we automatically go to that, but it's not just that. If we listen to things that are going to help us, like, help our mind, and by that, like, you know, listening to music that's, you know, that's calm, or, you know, when you need to relax, like, listening to the right type of music for the right type of situation that you're in you know maybe instead of watching friends for the 10th time like me maybe I should put on a documentary of something new I could learn you know I'm a sucker for like I always put the tv on in the background um when I'm like doing stuff whether I'm like cleaning or like even just like even when I do work or something like that I usually have something on in the background and I've become conscious of myself to to stop putting on like stupid silly tv shows all the time because i'm consuming all of this like things that i don't need when i'm not even really watching it because i'm actually busy doing other things but it's actually like i'm absorbing all of that without even actually like really enjoying it because i'm not sitting down and watching the tv show i just have it on the background so lately i've been really 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 like focusing on putting on an educational podcast in the background something that i want to learn or even just like typing it into like youtube and like you know motivation or like and like you can type in simple words like motivation confidence whatever you kind of want to listen to or like talk about kind of thing and just put that on in the background you don't need to be like for me it's like I put on like a stupid 
TV show, gossip TV show, and it's like I'm absorbing it but not actually taking the time to enjoy it. And, you know, I think if we're going to sit down and watch a cheesy gossip TV show, let's sit down and watch a TV gossip, like, TV show and just enjoy it. And, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with absorbing that. But I mean just, like, on your day-to-day basis, like, what are you listening to in the car, you know? Are you listening to the radio? Are you listening to a podcast? Are you listening to, like, angry you know heavy metal music early in the morning that like makes you angry by the time you get to work you have to be cautious about what you're absorbing what you're putting into your body and not just food not just water you know not those things it's what are we listening to who are we around who are we surrounding ourselves with it's so so crucial to think about those things because we unnoticedly absorb all these things. We unnoticedly absorb all this negative energy if we're around negative people. We don't even realize it. Sometimes we can feel physically drained from it, but a lot of the time we don't even realize things are affecting us in a negative way until it's too late. And then you're like, why do I feel like this? Why do I have no motivation? You know, why am I angry in the morning? Why am I, you know, and you kind of start to ask yourself like, what, why do I feel like this? I don't feel like myself. You know, check into the things that you're absorbing. What are you listening to? You know, are you listening to a podcast like this? Are you listening to, you know, music that's going to make you happy? Are you listening to music that's going to make you sad or angry or put you in a weird mood? What are you reading? I'm definitely going to talk more about reading and books, but, you know, what what are you reading? What are you watching on television? These are things that we kind of just, like... You know, oh, I'm just reading, I'm watching this television station or this television show because I like it. It's like, yeah, that's great. But it's like, if you, you know, if you, you need to absorb good things for you too. You know, our mind is constantly working. Our body is constantly working. We need to be absorbing things that are going to better our life, that are going to make us, you know, go the extra step, you know, to our goal to like to achieve that and you're going to achieve it with full happiness you know with the life that you want if you start absorbing consuming the proper things in your life Okay, it's time for a little bit of a break. I'm going to talk a little bit more about, you know, things that we are absorbing. I'm going to get into some, you know, some more food and water and those type of things, but also just other ways that we can invest in ourselves, like developing our skills or education. I'm going to dive deep into some information, so don't miss it. Are you tired of the same old news? Are you sick of the seemingly endless political spin and negativity? The GSMC America Still Beautiful podcast is a weekly news podcast covering all the top positive and uplifting news stories. We cover stories that will inspire, uplift, and remind you of the good in the world. Tune into the Golden State Media Concepts America Still Beautiful podcast to get all the great and positive news stories of today. Download the GSMC America Still Beautiful podcast on iTunes. Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. listening to gsmc life and happiness podcast okay so right now i know that you are absorbing something good because you are listening to this and we are talking about investing in yourself and you know holding yourself accountable keeping yourself those promises that you promise you know you you gotta hold yourself accountable you don't want to let yourself down so you know we're always always cautious about the things that we consume in our bodies like I said, the food, nutrients, greens, are we getting enough iron, vitamin D, B12, you know, are we putting whole foods into our bodies? You know, we're always trying to go on these like fad diets. It's like we constantly like feel like we need to be on this fad diet or lose this weight or eat this because this is going to help this. You know, we're constantly thinking of the things that we are putting into our body um, in that way. You know, we try not to drink too much. Like, you know, we're, we're cautious about drinking or drugs. We don't, you know, we don't want to absorb these things into our bodies because we know that with a high consumption, you know, it, it can have its downfalls. And so we're always thinking, like, I want to be healthy. 
you know, a lot of the time it's like, how do I get healthy? And it's not just the food that we're consuming. It's not just the nutrients that we're consuming. Of course that is huge. Invest in yourself that way. Eat your greens, eat, get your nutrients, get your iron, vitamin D, B12, eat whole foods, you know, like, of course, but it's more than that. It's more than just those things that we like consume on a day to day basis, like through our I don't even know how to describe it. Like, we're not just eating, you know? It's it's more than that. We have to invest in our bodies in the right way. We have to fuel our bodies with the proper food so that we can have a lot of energy. You know, think of it that way. Like, I'm eating my greens. I'm getting my nutrients, my vitamins. I'm eating whole foods because I want to have enough energy to tackle life at its fullest. I need to have that much energy to tackle life, right? And so you want to fuel your body. Think of it in that way, your mindset. You know, it's not just because you want to lose weight or you, oh, I need to be healthier. Fuel your body properly, you know, fuel it with the right greens and the right nutrients. And then you can actually go after and tackle your goals. That is definitely one way that you can invest in yourself. Um, But it's also like, like I said, music, TV, podcasts. What are you listening to? right? Think of it that way too. What are you listening to? Who's around you, right? Okay, now I want to talk about investing in your skills. So this doesn't always mean that you have to invest in higher education. This doesn't mean that you have to fork out a bunch of money um, to develop your skills. And I think that is like so crucial to know that like you don't have to go back to school. You don't have to get more education. You don't have to put in all this money to develop your skills better, to to be the person that you want to be. Um, you can do that, of course, if that is an option for you and you want more education. I don't think you should ever say no to education. You know, the more knowledge, like, the better. The more you know, like, that is, like, the fulfilling life. It's like, you know, what can I learn? What can I learn today? Um, and I think that's amazing. If you want to learn by going out and getting more education, paying for more education, then do it. that is an amazing way to invest in yourself. But there's more than just that. You can expand your knowledge and skill um, to a a whole nother level without having to fork out all this money and going to university or college again, right? Like, or starting university or college again. You don't have to do that. You know, you can advance your education by like, you don't have to take a full degree. You can, you know, do part-time classes. You could do nighttime classes. You could do online courses. Literally, there are so many websites online that just teach you random skills for like, you can pay like a monthly like subscription to like different sites that just teach you skills about anything. If you want to learn about video editing, if you want to learn about acting, if you want to learn about more math. I don't know. Like, there are videos on the internet. YouTube. Search it up on YouTube. Literally, free education. There's everything on YouTube. (laughs) You want to learn how to sew. YouTube. Like, there's so many simple ways that we can, like, expand our knowledge without forking out all this money. And it doesn't have to take that much time. Maybe you're not going to get the highest advanced education as if you actually went to a school. But if you want to learn a new skill, if you want to develop your skills differently, go on the internet or go take a class go take a cooking class I think that's cool like go out and like actually take a class if you want to get better endurance you know go take a spin class go join us learn how to do that learn how to get better endurance by doing it by going out there and joining a class you know utilize available training too like in your area like I'm sure in your city your town wherever you are there's workshops there's conferences talks even webinars online you don't even have to leave your house if you don't want to (laughs) um but like there's things in your community too that you can go to um if you want to learn how to paint go to a paint night I've heard all about paint nights and usually you drink wine and paint like a pretty picture of a rainbow but hey it's something it sounds like fun too you know develop that skill maybe it's not your highest education but it's a new skill that you can do so go develop your skills that is an amazing way to invest in yourself you know try something new and master it if you really want to learn how to juggle that is like something that you want to know like you want to put that on your resume i don't know then learn how to juggle practice learn something new and master it something that you've always wanted to do You know, if you've always wanted to know how to sail, go sailing. Go learn how to do it. Invest in yourself. Gain a new trick. Gain a new talent. You know, 
new party trick that you can do. Now you can bring your juggling balls to the next party and you'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty cool. I can juggle. I don't know. Whatever it is, go out and do it. Invest in yourself that way. Develop your skills. It doesn't cost any money. Educational podcasts. There's so many podcasts out there. So many podcasts on GSMC as well that you can learn valuable skills to help you. It can, you can develop so much more knowledge, so much more skills by just listening you know, in your car, in your headphones, whatever it is, there's so many simple ways to develop your skills. And that is such a key element in investing in yourself. Um, Explore your creative side as well. You know, we all have a kind of a creative side. And I know more people, some people are more creative than others, of course. But I think we all have a foundation of creativity. We just don't always see it. Or maybe we just like aren't in like, you know, a place in our life where we are the most creative like maybe we don't have a very creative job or a very you know creative atmosphere and that's okay not everybody wants to be creative all the time but I think like investing in your creative side like I don't think that hurts at all um you know learn a new language take a painting class take a cooking class like that's creative like I for one cannot cook I am the worst cook it's probably because I hate it and so I just don't really bother but maybe that's something that I should develop maybe that's something I should invest in is learning how to cook properly because every single Sunday runs around and I do meal prepping for a week and it is the worst I dread it every single Sunday I'm like I don't want to do this which is another reason why I meal prep uh pretty much for the whole week on one day so I can avoid cooking the rest of the week um but still that one day I'm like ugh. so maybe if I went out and took a cooking class you know actually got to know some basics actually kind of got to know an idea of, you know, what I should put in what, maybe I would enjoy it more. Maybe I should develop that skill, invest in myself in cooking, because it would totally benefit me later on. Right now, I probably meal prep the same thing every single Sunday, pretty much, and it is, it's getting boring, I'm not gonna lie. Chicken and rice and vegetables, it it only goes so far. So, (laughs) you know, that is something that I should invest in in myself. Um, write something down to explore that creative side, you know, write a book, write a short story, journal, write an article, an editorial. I don't know. Maybe you like writing. Maybe you don't even know if you like writing. Write. Pick up a pencil, pick up a pen, and write. And I don't mean type. Don't type on your computer. Write things down. I am like a strong believer we should just pick up a pencil and write. I think your ideas flow so much better. Of course, if you're writing a book, you definitely might want to type it. But I mean, like, if you just want to kind of spit some ideas out, maybe, like, start a blog, you know, just have, like, kind of a, an idea, write them down. I think it is so crucial. Go outside and be creative, too. You know, maybe start the beautiful backyard garden that you've always wanted. That's creative. That's fun. That's investing in yourself in so many ways. You're getting outside. You're being creative. You're doing a skill that you've always wanted to do. You're probably going to have to learn new skills to build this beautiful backyard garden that you've always wanted. And then you're going to grow some vegetables and you're going to grow things. And then that's another investment in yourself. You're saving money at the grocery store because you're growing it in your garden. It's all fresh and you're putting good nutrients into your body. Like, there's just so many ways to invest in yourself with just one thing. Build a backyard garden. Okay, I know we don't all want to build a backyard garden, but it's just an example of a great way to invest in yourself that kind of blows up into investing in yourself in different aspects of your life as well. You know, it's not just, like, one thing. Develop a skill, and that skill is going to just make a huge difference after putting that time in, investing that time in, right? Music. If you want to learn the guitar, learn the guitar. You know, if you want to learn how to DJ, learn how to DJ. Do it. Touch on that creative side. Maybe you don't even know that you, like, really enjoy DJing. Maybe it's a whole new thing that you just absolutely love, you know. For me, this is, like, a huge one that I think we should all do. And I have a really hard time doing this. And it's putting time into making the perfect playlist for yourself that you're going to enjoy while you do, like, your everyday regular activities. Like, I wish I had, like, a good workout playlist. I wish I had a good driving playlist. I wish I had a good, like, chill playlist when I'm tired. A good, I have a bunch of, like, focus music and concentration things, like, but those are playlists that are just, like, 
I got off of like Spotify that I that are just on they they made them for me I didn't put any effort in but like I think like building a playlist that's like perfect for yourself I think that's like a huge investment there's nothing better than like listening to like the best music at the right time you know like when you're in a certain mood and you're like oh I could use like this type of music have a playlist ready I think that's investing in yourself it's it's simple it sounds so simple just making a playlist it's gonna like and it also stops you from absorbing things that you shouldn't be that you don't want to you know flipping back and forth between like seven different radio stations to avoid commercials sounds like a waste of time sounds like it's gonna kind of piss you off too if you're anything like me I hate flipping through radio stations and you just you listen to a song and you just settle for it and you really don't like it maybe it puts you in a bad mood instead invest the time in making a playlist that's gonna put you in a good mood It's going to, you know, motivate you or maybe, you know, do the opposite. Maybe it's going to put you to sleep when you need to go to sleep. There's so many different ways you can invest in yourself. It is time for another break, though. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to talk to you about nurturing your mind and your body, you know, caring for your body, keeping those promises, holding yourself accountable. So much more information. Stay tuned. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast. Okay, so more information, of course I do, right? We are back to GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. All right, let's jump into some more information. Um, I want to talk to you about nurturing your mind and your body. I think investing in yourself in general is nurturing your mind and your body, but you know, we got to expand our minds. Read. Read anything and everything. Um, this is something that I've always struggled with. I've never really been a huge reader until, you know, honestly, like a few months ago. I really started to get more into it because there's just so many good things that we should be reading. And it's so good for your mind. Like, it is so good for you. Um, I've really started to, you know, cut out on my TV and read instead. You know, instead of crawling into bed and turning on a show for a half hour, I read for, you know, sometimes I can't even make it a half hour because it actually makes me tired. I realize how much better I'm sleeping. I'm consuming, absorbing way better information for myself. You know, I read a lot of um, self-help books, motivational books, um, just things that I want more education on and those are usually the books that I've been reading lately um but read anything and everything just reading in general is like a perfect way to invest in yourself you know pick up a book and read and like have a goal like for me it's like I need to make a goal of like I'm gonna finish this book by this time and then this is gonna jump into like making those holding those promises making the promises and holding yourself accountable to them if I promise myself that I'm gonna finish that book in a month you bet I'm going to be finishing that book in a month. Um, I wasn't always like that, though. I've, I never really, you know, I would brush it off. Oh, I just didn't have time this month. I just, like, didn't have time to read the whole book. Like, it's fine, whatever. You know, and we kind of find ways to be like, eh, that's all right. I don't need to do that. I'll try again next week. Uh, but it's like, you wouldn't cancel on a friend. 
don't cancel on yourself. You know, you got to invest in yourself and you have to have trust within yourself. How are you supposed to listen to your gut instinct? How are you supposed to trust your own judgment if you can't even like keep a promise to yourself? Um, so make promises and keep them. If you promise that you're going to go to the gym, go to the gym. If you promise that you're not going to eat sugar for a week, don't eat sugar for a week. Don't go buy junk food. Don't go buy a chocolate bar. You know, and of course, I'm just like, yeah, just don't do it. It's so easy. No, it's not easy. It's it's very difficult. Keeping a promise to yourself can be very difficult. And so then we have to ask ourselves, you know, why am I making this promise to myself? Why, you know, and it has to be something that you want. And always ask yourself why. Okay, why do I want to finish this book in a month? You know, all, I want to prove to myself that I can finish. I can finish a book in a month, first of all. This book is super interesting. It's about, you know, confidence. And right now I feel like my confidence is low. So I'm going to read this book to help my confidence. This is important to me. It's going to help me better in my work. I have a speech coming up. I'm going to, you know, be confident in that. You know, like things like that, you know, know your why. And if you know your why, you're going to hold yourself more accountable to it. Because it's like, okay, why do I need to cut out sugar for a week? Why not even just sugar, junk food, like I'm going to not eat junk food for a week or two weeks. Why do you need to do that? Well, I've been consuming a lot of junk food lately. I need to, you know, teach myself a lesson. I need to prove to myself that I can survive perfectly fine without going out and buying junk food. You know, maybe maybe that's your reason. that You just need to prove to yourself that you can do it. I literally did this recently. I had no junk food for three weeks. Actually, I think I have like three more days left of my three weeks. Um, And it was just something that I needed to prove to myself that I could do. That I didn't need to go out and buy a chocolate bar. I didn't need to go out and buy a bag of chips. It's just something that I didn't like. And I was like almost getting in a habit of like when I'm tired and I'm like, oh, I just want like a sweet. And I would automatically go buy a chocolate bar or something like that and I just need to prove to myself that like I can boost my energy I can get or I can get that comfort food with other things that's not junk food and like the past three weeks or almost three weeks that's what I've learned I've learned that I can I I survive perfectly fine without a chocolate bar I really do doesn't say doesn't mean I don't crave it doesn't mean that I'll probably go get a chocolate bar as soon as my like promise is up but that's my reward. I'm rewarding myself with the fact that I can go have a chocolate bar. Um, but I proved to myself that for three weeks, I didn't need to. It didn't, like, my life didn't, you know, drastically blow up because I couldn't go buy junk food. No, I find new ways to, like, eat comfort food. I found new ways to get a little, like, you know, a little sugar spike, whatever it was, like, whatever I needed. I found new ways to do it. And I think holding yourself accountable to those things you just, you prove so much to yourself. You realize that you don't need things in your life. You realize that you need more of something, right? And like I said, a million times, you wouldn't cancel on a friend. Don't cancel on yourself. Be trustworthy to yourself. You know, you want to, you are there for you 110% of the time. The only person that's there for you 110% of the time is yourself. You have to invest in yourself. You have to love yourself. We've talked about loving yourself in a different episode where you have to love yourself first before you can love anybody else. It's so cliche, but it's so true. And I think that we need to invest in ourselves first before we invest in all these other things. You know, if you invest a bunch of money into like going into university or going back to school or something like that, when you're not ready, when you're not happy with yourself, when you don't feel confident in yourself, it could turn out to be, you know, a waste of your money where you get there and you're halfway through and you're like, this is not what I wanted, you know, or I, I don't have the mental capacity, the mental state right now to be in university for this long a time. I was like, I wasn't ready. And like, sometimes we don't realize those things until too late. And so before we go and invest in all these massive things, invest in yourself first so that you know, you're ready, that you can tackle these things, you know, um, Nurture your mind and your body by exploring new cultures, you know, attend different like performances, listen to different types of music, expand your mind that way, you know, travel, get new perspectives, um, start making new friends from different backgrounds, you know, start expanding your knowledge that way. You know, I think that kind of nurtures your mind to just to, to know more. It's like, it's, it's like developing your skills and expanding your knowledge, but you know, exploring cultures and stuff. Like, I think that is so good for your mind. 
um, open up your mind to engaging in conversations with someone who might disagree with you, you know, who has a different perspective. Get knowledgeable about different opinions and be open to listening to them. Your opinion isn't always going to be right. I'm sorry to tell you, (laughs) even though we would like to always be right. It doesn't always work like that. Be open to listening to other people's opinions, other people's sides. Who knows what's going to come up after that? Um, Keep your mind active just like you keep your body active as well. You know, you want to be healthy. You want to be active. Um, And it's, it's not just like working out or getting exercise outside or something like that. It's in your mind too, you know. Play board games with strategy. Use your brain for simple calculations Instead of just automatically picking up your cell phone. Like, for me, I always just, like, go to my iPhone to, like, do... I always budget, like, a couple times a week. I love to go through all my money. And, like, there are so many simple calculations that I could have totally done in my head. And I just automatically go to my phone. And that's something that I've become aware of. I'm like, I need to just do that simple math question. Because I suck at math. Maybe I'll double check it with my cell phone after. But I should, I should really, like, you know, be be like making my mind active by just trying those simple questions you're gonna and all of a sudden it's gonna start coming easier um one of my friends said the other day uh he starts brushing his teeth with his non-dominant hand so that he can use that hand more you become more like comfortable with it so I started brushing my teeth uh with my left hand and it is difficult it is not (laughs) easy but eventually if I keep brushing my teeth with my left hand you know, I'm going to be able to do, I'm going to be more coordinate with my left hand. And that's something that I want. I want to like be able to, you know, do catch a ball in either hand. Because right now, if you throw a ball at me and my right hand's tied behind my back, I probably couldn't catch it. <laughs> like, I just, I just can't. And so a simple task like brushing your teeth, which trust me, it is way harder than you think it's going to be. Simple task like brushing your teeth with your left hand or your like non-dominant hand can go a long way after a while. All of a sudden, brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand becomes a lot easier. It's a simple task. That, like, And it kind of makes you think a little bit, right? But then you're going to use... That's kind of like your mind and your body. But nurture your mind. Nurture your body, you know? Care for your body. This is just the huge investment. I think that it's a little bit more obvious. You know, eating properly. Exercising regularly. Um, you want that high-quality fuel in your body so you have the energy. You know, don't push yourself too hard. Know your limits. You know, recognize when you need rest. Let yourself rest. You know, don't put too much on your plate because that's just going to add a bunch of stress to your life. And that's hard on your body. It's hard on your mind. It's hard on everything. So make sure you're careful on what you're doing. Go to the doctor when you need to go to the doctor. Take your vitamins. Pay attention to the signs that your body is sending you. I just talked last episode about connecting with your body. You know, really connecting to those signs and and having that mind-body connection. That's another investment into yourself. We all have things that we want out of life. We are trying to create the life for ourselves. You know, we want to be happy and fulfilled and we want to feel good. And we want to create this happy, happy life. And that starts with investing in yourself. Taking the time to take care of yourself. To develop a new new skill. Be proud of who you are, you know. Be proud of who you are. And I think to be proud of who you are, you need to take the time to invest in yourself. It's as simple. You can make a playlist or brush your teeth with your left hand, eat the proper food, go to a cooking class, whatever it is. You don't have to drop a bunch of money to invest in yourself. There's little simple things that we can do on a day-to-day basis that's going to make a huge difference so that we're ready to live the life that we've always wanted, to create the life that we've always wanted, live a happy and healthy life, fulfilled with all these cool new skills to love ourselves. It all kind of ties in together. (laughs) Okay, that's all the information that I have for you today. Thank you so much for listening to GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Podcast Network. I am your host, Alyssa Joe. just in case you forgot. (laughs) Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like and follow us on social media, and leave a five-star review. It's always greatly appreciated, and I look forward to next time. Thank you. You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Life and Happiness Podcast, part of the GSMC Podcast Network. You can find the show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our 
Player Podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type in GSMC to find all of our shows. From the GSMC Podcast Network, from sex and relationships to health and wellness, life and happiness, and even weird news. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed today's episode of the Golden State Media Concepts Life and Happiness Podcast.